Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia Season 1 Episode 12B Hop Popular and um, uh, let's get started. Um, And next week, oh, oh, first of all, I actually wanted to say is um, happy anniversary to Amphibia because their first episode that aired on Disney was two years ago. So this is their two year anniversary. So I just wanted to congratulate them with that and you know, pretty good. And I'm thinking of doing episodes thir episode 13 on Tuesday. And episode 14 of, of Amphibia on Wednesday, I think. Not sure. Could change it into something else. But um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, hot Popular. We start with um, Anne, Sprig, and Polly opening the door. Like, you know, and they're holding, like, you know, carts of, you know, um, well, boxes of, you know, vegetables. And you know, they hey hop hop, you know, we, we, we got stuff. And you see hop hop like wearing like a um, what's it called? A white tank top. Um, you know, and like he has like you know, like the, the, the fuzz, you know, kind of like he hasn't shaved. He's like his you know, shirt's messy and like he's very sticky. And he's like, he's all hey, hey kids. So, like, basically, they ask him, like, how, how are you? And it's like, not so good. I I've been fine like the first couple like of days, like like a, the first week, but now he's starting to real catch up with me. And he has like you know the the picture of him with his vegetable stand. Because remember they lost their stand. And the last time that was um, talked about was um, Hop Hop and Lock, which was um last episode. Yeah, episode eleven. Um, you know, where they were <laughs> doing the back alley, um, vegetable selling. But, um, anyway, um, you know, he's an old, you know, I, I miss my vegetable sand. And he's like, hey, we, we got a good idea. You can get a job. Like, you know, they're, they're doing, the, um, you know, um, a job at the grub and go. And that's why I suggested when he, he would like, again, from Hop Pop and Lock, when he was doing the, the vegetable stuff, um, like in the, the alley. Well, I was like, couldn't he just get a job at a grub and go? But I guess he's gonna get one now. Okay, thank you. But um, he's like, no, this is another job for me to lose. He's like, well, you're a natural at it, and they just take him off the the couch. He's like, no, the couch is the only one who understands me. And then he's like, come on. And then, um, <clears throat> very disappointing. Hop, pop, you know. Is dressed and everything. He walks out of the grub and goes, "Say, all right, how about I? You know, we'll, we'll don't call us. We'll call you." Which just I never been told that before in person. In person to me, but of what I heard, that means basically that you didn't get the job. When they say we'll call you, don't call us, means you didn't get the job. Is that true? I don't know, but that that's what I, I've, I've been told. You know, that's what other people have been saying. So okay, I guess Hop Hop and I didn't get the job, and he's like, huh. And then you know, um, we we got you know, um, what was it? Um, we we got you know, um, Hop and I, uh, I mean, sorry, but we got Mayor Toadstool. You know, today, hey everyone, you vote for me, and if you vote for me, I will always look after the little guy. And he just stepped on Toady, the mayor's assistant, and then he, you know, he went, you know, um, with the stand with the mayor's, um, the, the mayor's snail. He like, you know, he's like, yeah, and then he left the snail left dust, and the little kid's like breathing it. It's like, <clears throat> so you know, the mayor's is a jerk, and uh, we see the mayor again. We've been seeing the mayor for a while, right? You know, I mean. We saw him in um, Grub Hog Day. We saw him in Hop Hop and Lock. We saw him at um, Civil War. And now we're seeing him again in Hop Popular. Four stories that the mayor's been, two episodes, you know, fully. So I, I guess it's been leading up to this, I guess. Like, a, not a mayor arc, really, but like a. Episodes where the mayor's been kind of leading up to this moment, I guess. 
Okay. I just wanted to point that out. I kind of realized that. But anyway, he, like, he drives off and the kid's like breathing the dust and, and you know, Hoppadai is all like, huh, you have some mayor. Uh, like, that guy keeps on raising our taxes. Again, remember from, what was it? <laughs> I'm trying to rem remember um, episode names. Um, Planter's Last Stand. The that that was the name where he, he um tripled the rent, uh, quadrupled the rent I think. So he's a, that guy keeps on raising our taxes and what do we have to show for it? Our snail ways our mess and there's a guy that's riding a snail and falls into like a sinkhole, <laughs> and he's like, like our buildings are falling apart and there's a wall that comes down and he's like hey we haven't even rebuilt the school since last year's um. Millipede incident and Ivy and some other kids are playing by the the, the school. So that's one thing. I've, it's been in the back of my mind. Like, why aren't Sprig and Polly and Ivy and Maddie at school? Is it summer? Is it? It's around winter time actually. So I'm like, why aren't they around school? Hmm. But now we know why. It's because you know the Millipede incident. They didn't rebuild it. So that's why. Okay, good to know. Because kids need to be in school. But um. <clears throat> Um, anyway, uh, you know, the, the millipede, the gigantic millipede is attacking everyone. And then, you know, Ivy's mom, um, Felicia, Felicia is saying, am I crazy or is he making sense? And then, you know, yeah, Hop Hop is like, like, uh, like I, I think we need a mayor who mayors the frog and the, the frogs in the town because our mayor, well, <laughs> He's only marrying himself. He's only looking out for himself. Well, goodbye, everybody. And then Wally is like, I nominate Hapadai Planter for mayor. And, you know, Felicia is like, I second that. And someone's like, I third it. And then, you know, they, they wrote Hapadai's name, you, you know, and they, they put it in for like, the race and everyone's cheering for him. And Hop Hop is smiling. And then, you know, the, um, the kids, you know, Anne, Sprig, and Polly are on the couch. And, you know, Hop Hop, you know, goes in and say, Kids, great news! And, and, and Sprig's like, oh, did you get the job? He's like, nope, I'm running for mayor. And he's like, what? He's like, D kids, don't you see? This is a great opportunity. Now everyone can see, finally, the Hapadaya planter is no looser. And he's combing his, like, um, his hair. <laughs> because he has no hair. And, and you know, um, and he's like, like, oh, guys, this is going to be so disappointing. Like, you know, if he's, you know, if he loses this, he's going to be even more depressed. And Sprig's like, yeah, but if he wins and becomes the mayor, we can get the old Hop Hop back. Is it, all right. Is it, hey, Hop Hop, we'll, we'll help you. Is it, oh, kids, I, I can't wait. And I'm going to be in the bathroom practicing my distinguished expression. He makes like a weird face. He's like, ha ha. And, and makes a comment. Which I kind of agree, even though I'm an adult, I agree. You know, ugh, politics are the worst. And you know, and Paul's like, agreed, but the monster fights are cool. And he's like, what? Yeah, and it's like, what? And then, you know, um, we, we get, um, what was his name? Um, Albus Duckweed, um, that was in the, um, Firefly dance in dating season. And also was the foodie in Lily Patai. He's also in this episode, um, Hot Popular. He's like the, what would you call him? I don't know. I guess he's like another announcer person, I guess. Like, the one who's in charge of the mayor race, I guess. Mm. Anyway, um, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> And the, you know, he basically said, like, oh, your, your first challenge is, like, it, the first challenge is strength. And a ma true mayor has real strength. Like, and you would need to, like, go on top of this, uh, what was it, rhino bean beetle? And the mayor tries to do it. He gets smacked around. Hop Hop gets smacked around. And he's, like, he tries to distract it. Like, he slaps his belly. I'll come and get it. He, he, he like, you know, it's a beat rhino beetle. Like, like and like, you know, he's going to go after him and his like horn gets stuck in a stump. Hop Hop goes on top of him, misses like the spikes. It has spikes too. And you know, and you know, Hop Hop won. And your know, mayor is getting like a little bit upset. Because also, 
um, what happened is Anne also said, oh, you know, I was not fan of politics, but now I, I love it here. And, you know, Sprig's like, you know, okay, Anne, you know, calm down. And, you know, Mayor, Mayor Tullis was like, oh, you made an en enemy here, Hapadiah, like, you know, running for mayor. You know, this is, this, no one has ever ran against a toad, especially a frog. Like, a frog has never ran against a toad. This is, this is a disgrace. And, you know, Hop Hop's like, the only disgrace here is you as mayor. And, you know, Mrs. Croker's like, oh, I love this Hapadaya. And, you know, the one guy's like, oh, I don't know. Mayor Tulsa's tried and true. So I guess there's some people room for the mayor. That was before the first challenge. Now, getting to the second challenge is that there are these three vulture babies, basically. And he's like, you know, Albus is like, oh, like, what do these hatchlings need? A true mayor would know. And then, you know, um, the mayor's like, I know what these dumb birds want. Money. And he's like, you know, and he's like, you know, has a sack of money. He's like, a tiny sack of money. He's like, all right, here you go. You know, you know, start complaining. Here's your handouts. And he starts backing him. And you hop up. It's like, hmm. He goes under a log. Gets these three worms. He chews it with his mouth. Because as a mother would, you know, chews up the worms and opens his mouth. So the babies can eat it. Like, you know, from his mouth. And you know, they, they, like, you know, like, you know, give him, like, you know, little birdie kisses and stuff. And you hop off, like, <laughs> And then Sprig makes a comment where he says, a, a comment, he's like, that's how he fed us when we were babies. So, question is, where are the parents? Are they gone? Like, did, did they leave? Are they captured? Are they in hiding? Did they die? Like, BC said, that's how Hapa fed us when we were babies. And, which is weird because Polly's a baby. Hmm. Hmm. Polly's four, Sprig is ten. Hmm. I'm not going to read into too much because we don't know what's going on. And, you know. I just thought that comment was just a little bit weird that, you know, um, Sprig said, that's how he fed us when we were babies, but Polly's already a baby. I guess maybe even younger, two years old maybe, but Sprig wouldn't even be four yet, so, he, I mean, he would be past four, so. I, I, I'm just assuming that Sprig, you know, is not thinking too much on the subject. He just says, when we were little, Hop Hop fed to us like that. That's why I'm just assuming. I'm not going to read too much into it of Sprague's proper grammar. But um, then the mother vulture goes to the top of the nest to protect her hatchlings as a mother would. And it scares everyone. Everyone let leaves. The third challenge, which is really ridiculous but funny. It's like a real mayor um, knows how to comes out, come out of the woods alive naked. And so that's what we did. We dropped them off the woods naked. And we get Hop Hop with um Jeremy. We see he has like... um. The same outfit he had when he was with the Beatles with Jeremy in the episode um Sprig versus Hop Hop. There's a lot of episodes when we're making references to. And he's like, Oh thanks for showing me the way, Jeremy and he put, put, puts like a vote for hop hop button on Jeremy and they fly away. A oh, safe travels brother and everyone's cheering for him and then it's at night, the mayor assistant is you know, waiting for the mayor and he puts a towel on him and there's an animal like, like a uh, I don't know, they, like a possum or something, biting the mayor's butt, and the mayor, a uh, toady rips it off. The mayor, and he's like, "Oh, toady, this is impossible. I could lose. I guess I need to solve this the old-fashioned way, illegally." Okay. Um, and then you see Hop Hop bringing a public speaking one on one. There is no public public speaking really, so. Um, I'm assuming he's just doing it for his own personal reasons because he did make that speech earlier, so you know. I'm assuming this is personal stuff. Or maybe he's like assuming there might be. Okay. And you know, it's raining and stuff, you know, it looks, you know, beautiful rain. And you know, it's like, hey Hop Hop, you're doing really great. Yeah, but you know, the the last trial is gonna be, you know, um tomorrow. Like, you know, I just there was three challenges like today. And there's going to be one more final one that's tomorrow. Okay. So there's four, there's four challenges. Is that I, because of the last challenge, I, I could lose the election probably. And then, you know, you hear the, the knock on the door. They open it. 
you know, Hop Hop and Sprig and Polly look, and it's some Toadie, the mayor's assistant, and he he's wearing a hood, is like, an unnamed associate one wishes to speak with you, you know, Mr. Planter, and, and it's like, the mayor, and he's like, no comment, and he's like, come on, that's the only person you know, and he's like, no comment, and then, you know, the mayor's assistant brings Hop Hop to the carriage, and then, you know, mayor, the mayor's assistant and Hop Hop go into the carriage, and, you know, Hop Hop is like, I'm, Hop Hop sits down next to Mayor Toadstool, and the mayor, or not mayor, I guess, of Toadstool, it's basically, basically like, nice for you to meet me, planter. Um, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I want you to lose tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, I figured. No, you dummy, on purpose. And in return, I'll give you back your vegetable stand. I'll put it in the center of the market, tax-free. You make tons of money. And you hop up, it's like, that, that, that's hard to say no to. And your mayor told, told souls like, well then, don't. And you know, you, um, Hop Hop just goes out the carriage into the rain, goes in back in the house, closes the door, sits on his chair, looks into the fire. And Anne's like, so what did the mayor, she says mayor, even though he's not the mayor, but I guess, you know, I guess it'd be respectful. Like wh wh what else are we supposed to call him? So. I will not go point off, you know, and just being respectful. Okay. What does the mayor want? And you know, Hop Hop is like, if I lose on purpose tomorrow, Toadstool will um, give us back the sand. And you know, and, and Sprig and Polly Little, what? And he's like, and he says you'll make us rich. We'll be set for life. And Polly's like, oh, then to take the deal. And Anne and Sprig are like, Polly. And Polly's like, we were all thinking it. And Hop Hop is like, yeah, Polly's right, kids. It's just too good to pass up. And you know, and they all look at each other and, and Anne's like, well, whatever you choose, dude, we'll support you. And you hop up, it's like, thanks kids. And you just see like, him looking in the fire and you see from the window with the rain pouring on it. Oh, beautiful animation, I wish I can show it. Can't, okay. And it's like, you know, I, I guess I got some thinking to do. Then we get to the final challenge and it's like a MMA fight, I guess. They're even under brain boxing clubs. And he's like, all right, everyone, you know, um, all right, guys, you gotta try to hit each other. Oh, wait, no, um, Albus first says, you see them fight monsters, you see them feed birds, you see them come out of the forest naked, now you get to see them fight each other. He's like naming all the past stuff that they were doing, and you know, they, they all, you know, get their boxing gloves. And you know, they start this old guy say, oh, ring the bell? And then he rings the bell with his tongue. Then they're fighting against each other. Hop Hop gets a couple of hits in. And you know, Toad Soul's like, all right, you put a heck of a show down. Stay down. And Hop Hop's like, oh, this can't be good. He knocks Hop Hop out. And you know, um, and then like, you know, you see the like, blurry vision. Everyone's like, oh, come on, Hop Hop, come on. And then, you know, Mayor Toad Soul's like, like, remember Planter, our deal, stay down. And he's like, stay down. There's this little blurry vision. And he's like, he goes up. And then, the, and the, you know, Toadstool's like, you, you idiot. You could have been rich. You could have gotten your stand back. All you had to do was give up. Like, why? And he's like, Hop Hop's like, this is more than just about me. And he does like a, um, I don't know what you would call it, like, is he does like an arm muscle thing and like and his fist goes to the to the mayor and he the mayor just collapses <laughs> and then you know and then um Albus is like that's a knockout and an old guy by the bells are oh ring the bell and then you know he rings the bell with his tongue and Hop Hop wins did this challenge and now everyone's time to vote you know um yeah and did the help it um Hop Hop and Toad Soul are still wearing the wrestling stuff okay. And basically, they're, they're all, you know, um, first Alba says, 100% of all of Wartwood, Hapadaya Planter. So is it, oh, I, and you know, Hop Hop's like, oh, I win. And, like, the, the, the rest of the, um, the rest of the valley, Mayor Toadstool. And then, you know, Hop Hop's like, what? And he's like, Alba's like, congratulations, sir. And then, you know, Mayor Toadstool's like, Oh, thank you, everyone. Once again, democracy wins. 
and then everyone just leaves because they were all rooting for um hop hop and then and then you know um mayor Tosso, now mayor Tosso was like oh you, you know um and y you know um He's like, well, just be glad that the town loved you. I'm surprised the rest of the valley didn't because um, that would have made headlines if a frog beat a toad. Uh, like, you know, like, just be glad the town loved you. And, and then, you know, Hop Hop's like, how was I supposed to know the rest of the valley got in the boat? I'm a theater major for cricket's sake. Uh, again, um, that coming back, that, that came back from... What was it? The episode, um, Taking Charge and Best Friends. Because Best Friends, he was reading a book that says, well, you're a failed actor. And then Taking Charge, he was reading a play. So, that they came back from those two episodes. Okay, cool. And, um, <clears throat> and basically, you know, and then Mayor, Mayor Tulsa was like, wait. You, you didn't campaign outside Wartwood? You didn't campaign in the rest of the valley? Ooh, son, that's just sad. It almost takes the fun out of my victory. And then Toby's like, oh, the, the victory pinata is wait, waiting for you in the lobby, sir. And so, well, I did say almost. Ooh, pinata gonna hit it. I'm wondering, why didn't Albus tell Hop Hop the rules? Maybe because he didn't care? I mean, you saw how he was a jerk to Stumpy and Lily Pad Thai, so I'm not too surprised, though. So. I'm not gonna knock, knock a point off, but you know, you know, and Sprig's like, "Hey, Hop Hop, how you doing?" And, and you know, Hop Hop's like, "Well, I never felt better." And you know, Anne's like, "Oh, he's in shock. Are you in shock? Is he in shock?" And, and Sprig apologizes, like, "Mmm." -hmm. And you know, Hop Hop's like, "I know I lost, but I stood my ground and fought for something important, and that felt good." And then you know, all the town, like, well, I guess some of the town, I guess. Is it like, and while he's like, hop a die, c c can we have a word? And you know, um, Felicia says, like, we all pitched in and built you a new stand so because you gave us something better than produce. And while he said, hope, and you know, Hop Hop's crying, and Sadie Croker puts her hand on his arm, he's like, you all made us proud. And you know, Hop Hop, like, you know, put his hand, and, like, t like, slang his hand on the stand. And yet, when you see, see the word planter under it, it says and grandson and granddaughter and human, which I just thought I thought that was sweet. And he's like, well, I may have lost the race, but I'm with all of you back at the farmer's market. And that makes me a winner. But I wouldn't put the rutabakers right here, but it's fine. I'll fix it later. So this half of the episode, 10 out of 10, 100%. I didn't find you know, any flaws. I mean, it was a weird thing with um, Albus not telling Hapadaya, you know, about you know, not you know about campaigning outside Warwood to the rest of the valley. But he's just a jerk. He doesn't care. So, yeah, ten out of ten, hundred percent overall. The entire episode from you know, what was it called? Uh, Civil War. That was the 85%. So the whole entire episode wasn't 100. Let's see. Um, Yep, 93%. It was an A. I'm not sure when was the last time I gave an A on a review, but a lot have been Bs, which is fine. That's a great. So this episode was a fantastic episode overall. You know, the, the first half was a great episode, but the second half was a perfect episode. So overall, this was a fantastic episode. These A's are fantastic, and Bs are great. So, you know, fantastic episode. Um, like I said before, Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be episodes 13 and 14. And I, I forgot the episode titles for those, but, you know, 
I really like this episode. You know, overall, 93%. Great episode. But everyone, don't forget to... You know, next week, I'm sure I'm going to do Amphibia. But anything can happen. But everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for Most Likely Amphibia Season 1, Episode 13, A and B. Alright, bye.